Hello everyone, welcome to another question and answer session. A 32 years old man present with an inguinal hernia and undergoes an open surgical repair. The surgeon decides to place a mesh on the posterior wall of the inguinal canal to complete the repair. Which of the following structure will not uh, will lies posterior to the mesh? So, in this question, uh, we can see a 32 years old man present with the inguinal hernia and undergoes surgical repair. And surgeon place a mesh on the posterior wall of the inguinal canal. So, we have to find out, find out the posterior wall of the inguinal canal on which the mesh will lie. So, we have to find out the posterior wall of the inguinal canal. Here are the options. Options are transversal fascia, external oblique muscle rectus abdominis muscle obturator nerve and none of the above so let's see the picture here here we can see this is the inguinal canal it extends from here up to here that means from the superficial inguinal ring to the deep inguinal ring and here we can see this is the anterior boundary anterior boundary is formed by the external oblique and mainly by the external oblique and some other structure some of the ligament and fiber and here we can see this is the posterior wall and this posterior wall it is the fiber of the fascia transversal so we can see this is the posterior wall of the inguinal canal and this is formed by the fascia transversalis so the mesh will be placed on the fascia transversalis and this fascia transversalis is from the posterior wall of the inguinal canal and here we can see there is the roof the roof is formed by internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscle so anterior wall mainly formed by the external oblique muscle posterior wall mainly formed by the fascia transversalis and roof it is formed mainly by internal oblique and transversus abdominis and floor inguinal ligament so here in this picture we can see this is the superficial inguinal ring and here the deep inguinal ring and from the superficial inguinal ring to the deep inguinal ring there is the inguinal canal so here we can see this is the inguinal canal and the superficial inguinal ring we can see this is a facial layer and this facial layer is derived from the this muscle this is the external oblique muscle so the superficial inguinal ring it is or anterior wall it is formed by the external oblique muscle on the other hand the deep inguinal ring here you can see there is the deep inguinal ring it located in the deep part so here this is the deep part of the deep inguinal ring here and we can see deep inguinal ring here the posterior boundary is this structure and this structure is the fascia transversalis which form the posterior wall of the inguinal canal so mesh will be placed on the posterior wall which is the transversalis fascia or fascia transversalis so the fascia transversalis it forms the posterior wall of the inguinal canal and mesh should be placed on this posterior wall of the inguinal canal thank you all